Hello everybody, Josh Katoa back here again with another video, and I'm here to talk all things DC TV. Now, of course, earlier today I gave you uh, my personal thoughts on the whole Hawkman being introduced in the DC TV universe, specifically the Arrow and Flashverse. And of course, if you've not seen that, please check it out. Go to my channel and check out that video. I'll probably have a card somewhere. Actually, as we speak, I have yet to upload it, so more than likely this video will come out before it. But nonetheless... Please go to my channel to check out that video. But that being said, let's get into all things Vandal Savage. We just, as we speak, have gotten confirmation and official notice from Warner Brothers TV and CW as to the actor who will be portraying the character of Vandal Savage. And we got a brief description of the character himself and how he'll be featured in within this new um, Flash and Arrowverse. Now, of course, um, DC's Legends of Tomorrow is the newest CW crossover show that will be premiering, I want to say, early next year, possibly January and uh, will be, uh, I guess, taking place maybe at the mid-season points of Flash Season 2 and, I guess, Arrow Season 4, and will be featuring a whole bunch of new characters that we have not yet to really explore, like Hawkgirl and so on and so forth. But that being said, um, as a brief premise of the show, if you've not really have, you know, researched this, this show at all, essentially Legends of Tomorrow is will feature the character of Rip Hunter who will be coming back and uh, coming out of time fr coming from the future if you will and essentially uh, creating this ragtag team of metahumans and various characters we've seen from both Arrow and the Flash and of course uh, trying to guide them to just stop the diabolical immortal villain known as Vandal Savage uh, before he continues to wreck all of history and time and space and so on and so forth etc etc and I'm really hyped to see this show. I saw the first look trailer. I liked it. And um, I really can't wait to see uh, how this show comes together and how it goes forward and, and, and whether or not at some point we will ever get a legitimate DC TV Just League show. But that being said, uh, I really can't wait to see what Legend of Tomorrow is going to be all about. But that being said, we got uh, actor Casper Crump who will be portraying the main antagonist of the show, Vandal Savage. Now, I have no knowledge of this actor. I've really, up until this point, have heard him right now. I don't really know that much about him. I haven't really seen anything he's really done. He's mostly known for um, film and TV roles from his home country of Denmark, so obviously, I guess I really don't know a lot about his history. I mean, maybe I've seen something that he's been, but as of right now, nothing's really clicking in my head. But that being said, looking at him perspective-wise, uh, you know, outside... Uh, looking outside the looking glass, if you will. I just, he looks like Vandal Savage, so I can't really, you know, have too much qualms with how he's going to be portrayed, other than looks-wise, but um, acting-wise, I really don't know. I have to at least, after I make this video, s research some of his work to really get the general gist of how he can really bring this character to flourishing. I mean, Vandal Savage in the wide masses may not be the most popularly, no you know, mainstream known DC villain, but he's a very extravagant, very interesting, and very, I guess, menacing villain, even though he doesn't have a specific ability other than the fact that he's immortal and, you know, is very smart. But other than that, uh, I, I really can't, I don't really know what to say about this. I mean, the acting, I don't know. I have to research. Look-wise, I guess that's good. I mean, like, whether he goes for the short hair or long hair, it really doesn't even matter. As long as he looks like he's very menacing, he's very smart and completely superior to everyone, which I really hope he is, then I'm all for this. But that being said, I can't really give too much more, you know, personal thoughts or debate over the casting because I really don't know that much about the actor. But that being said, look-wise... I think he can pull off a Vandal Savage. Acting-wise, I'm definitely going to have to research his work to get the general gist of how he will be portrayed. But that being said, Warner TV uh, released a description for his character, and of course, it's as thus. Vandal Savage is immortal, having spent the past 6,000 years moving like a virulent disease through history, whispering in the ears of, of despots and dictators, all leading to his eventual domination of the world. And that's pretty much a description of the character of Vandal Savage. Seems appropriate. I mean, like, Vandal Savage is immortal. He's been around for centuries. Uh, he's been, he's pretty much had his hands in all of history and been, you know, pretty much a leader ever since he gained this ability of knowledge and strength and, uh, you know, immortality, so on and so forth. So, I can't really say anything more that really makes me go, oh, this is gonna suck. I pretty much am looking forward to it. I mean, DC's Legends of Tomorrow, the more and more 
I, you know, look at this show, I really can't wait to see more. I mean, it looks pretty freaking interesting. Uh, the actor looks pretty cool. Um, Vandal Savage is an awesome actor, um, awesome actor, awesome character, rather. And I just really hope CW blows this out of the water with this specific character because, you know, Vandal Savage, even though he may not be a mainstream DC villain, he's still a pretty badass interesting characters, so I hope they really do him justice, and I hope Legends of Tomorrow really fucking destroys, specifically with him as the front runner, as the main, because if Vandal Savage, in this universe, is such a threat that they have to have these characters come together, he has to be badass. If he's not, then what was the purpose of even having these characters come back together to really do anything? But that being said, can't wait to see what DC's Legends of Tomorrow is all about. Can't wait till next year to check it out. The actor, the actor himself, I'm definitely going to have to research to see the general gist of his acting skills. But look-wise, I'm all for it. Comment below, let me know what you personally think about this casting news. What are your personal thoughts in the description? What are your personal hopes for of Vandal Savage within this uh, Flash and Arrowverse? Specifically, your personal speculation over DC's Legends of Tomorrow. And anyways, let me know what your personal thoughts are down below in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel. If you've not done so already, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's been Josh12.